Where are we going, guys? Stratford upon Avon. <laughs> the adventure begins. <laughs> First attempt to try to get train tickets and the machines. Everything is a machine nowadays. It's kind of unsettling. All right. So we have our tickets, and now we're trying to figure out how to work the trains because <laughs> because we don't see our train on the board, and we don't really know where to go from here. Let's go ahead and Okay, we're gonna go find it There it is, the train is here. What did we think of the show last night? Well, last night we saw Love's Labor's Lost and... Otherwise known as Much Ado About yeah, Nothing. Basically Much Ado About Nothing. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, we're not exactly sure about that, but we've got a program, so holy shit, that part's really close. <laughs> Some of the characters were kind of kind of unnecessary in terms of like having actors, but every single person on that stage was like in the moment, knew exactly what they were on saying, it. on it the entire time. And that was like wonderful to see. And of course the main people, Beatrice and Benedict, were just by far the best Shakespearean actors, actors I've ever seen. Day. Which is not surprising considering we're at the Royal Shakespeare Company, but whatever. <laughs> and it was set in 1918. Now, 
We are trying to walk to where are we going? We are going to Shakespeare's grave uh, and at Holy Trinity Church. Um, and the guy at the hotel we stayed at said to just follow along the riverbank. Uh, and it's that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> but, like, we're not really sure where we are because now we're in the woods. It's real rough. Um, <laughs> But it's kind of where, that's the river though, and that's where we need to, he said to stay along the riverbank. So, it's possible that we're on somebody's private po uh, property, or it's possible we're lost. Not exactly sure. Probably the latter. Probably the latter, but it's fine. One of those kind of shows, yeah, where everything was so good about it that you didn't, like, you could just completely immerse yourself in it. And I think, as like, people who do theater, we're a little spoiled because we pay attention to all the technical production parts of it. When, like even though the set was fabulous the set is still extremely just elaborate yeah but you awesome you were able to still stay in the show and it was just incredible yeah yeah I agree yeah it was definitely definitely, definitely totally worth the five pounds that we paid yeah. for the tickets <laughs> and there's a pole in my way and I didn't even care nope did not Tracy's even better. crying because she's so stop. happy stop my eyes watering <laughs> huzzah we found the church sort of well as in, we found stairs that potentially lead to the thing. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, for a graveyard, of course. Oh, wow, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's the church. Everything is so green. It We had to, we ended up going to the train station early and thank God we did because we walked up and uh, the train, there was nobody around and the train was closed and there's a guy standing in front of the doors and he was like, you need to get on the train now. There, uh, all the other trains are canceled out tonight. And we're like, what the hell? Because what we find out is this is a northbound train. So this train was going directly to Birmingham, which is the opposite direction of where we actually need to go in London. Um, we ended up going to, he ended up telling us to get off at Birmingham Moore Street. And then we had to switch to a new station, Birmingham New Street. And then we are going to take that train into Houston. And then a woman sitting behind us was like, I'm actually going to New Street if you want to just follow me. And we're like, thank God. So we ended up getting off the train. And so we ended up going to the ticketing station and they were like, your tickets are fine. Just go to the, go to the platform. And we're like, okay, we get there. So many people were there. We think there were a lot of trains canceled tonight, but we ended up making it. And then, oh, well, we had to find the bus stop. And we had all this without Wi-Fi, so I had to use like um, offline maps in order to figure out where we were. It's crazy. And then we, it's normal, I guess. It's not that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and we found the bus stop, only to find out that my Oyster card had run out. And so the guy was like, well, it's up to you. And I was like, whatever, I'll risk it. And we only had to go eight stops, so it, was, it wasn't bad. But I made it. Um, then we had dinner with some friends. And so we finally made it back. Um, but we just wanted to show everybody what our weekend was like in Stratford. Overall, a wonderful, fabulous time. Um, got to see a lot of beautiful things, got to eat a lot of wonderful things, and we have tons of sweets now. Yeah, so just wanted to 
say toodaloo and hopefully bonsoir. bonsoir. Here we go. Toodaloo. Okay. Chin chin. Bye bye. Thanks for joining our trip in Stratford. Bye. <laughs> Do you want to say anything more again? Bye. <laughs> yeah? Bye. Bye. <laughs>